everyone are doing mint. <laughs> oh, everyone, it is Renz, because I've got a commission to open. So I'm being commissioned by a very kind lady to repaint a kitty cat for her friend. A cat that passed away, sadly. And I'm really excited because when my dog passed away, I desperately wanted a dog to like, I don't know, connect with him in some way. So I'm gonna open him up and let's see how cute it is. Let's see how cute she is. I'm excited. Oh, you're there. She might have already sent her unstrung, so let's see. This is labeled tail, kind of. It was until the tape took it off. And opening these things, always be very careful with yours. You don't want to scratch the precious tape. Cut away from the dolly. And if you can, reuse your bubble wrap. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It just keeps going. We've touched it. Here they are. Here is the delicate little bean. Let me unwrap their tail. She don't skimp on the bubble wrap. <laughs> this thing getting here in one piece already getting here at all. Teeny tiny. I thought it was bigger based on how much bubble wrap was on it. Here we are, little lady's tail. So delicate, as I say, if my hand's right in front of it. So as it is not my doll, you have to be at least 1,200 times tiny little baby. Start the magic. Here's the little teeny kitty itzy. <laughs> I can't speak. Here's this little tiny cat. Is she really cute? So you can remove her head like that. So it makes life really easy for me. I'm not going to completely disassemble her because that is unlikely to get back together. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna borrow some tack and put it inside the eyes so it doesn't make a head a mess. Yay! We gonna do? Look at all my colors! I'm gonna use this. Oh my gosh, it's the base color. I'm trying not to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> okay, she's so white. I'm so afraid. Gently with pastels. Pastels aren't going on as thickly as I would like, so we're moving on to paint. And we're just gonna brush everything to the side. Go away. Beep. I said beep. Okay, I'm just gonna start with some very watered down wash. some texture. has some kind of like brindle coloring which I don't have experience really seeing in real life only on photos. This is gonna be a little bit interesting. Try to replicate.
して。And you go floop, 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 floop. Stick it on the magnet and you can do floop, floop, floop everywhere, man. Look at that shiny tail. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The difficult part. I've had to go in and out and decide how exactly I want to adjust these colors. I'm going over with some yellow paint and then my brown watercolor pencil just to add in some fur details. I hope they like this. I desperately hope they like this. They want it a bit cartoony, but they didn't want it to be overly realistic. Uh, I mean, that, that's basically what cartooning is, actually. So I haven't gone for an over-realistic feel with the fur. I've kind of gone with a definitely more drawn-on kind of look. So hopefully, this is a to the taste. Add a little bit of black onto the leggies. Wow, everything's a mess. You can't even pay attention to what I'm doing. But here we are. So I'm just doing a quick brush motion, like a really quick tappy brushy brush. Give it like furry fur texture. You see all that dirt on there? That's easily removable, so don't worry about it. It's just when working with watercolor prints, it can get a little bit, a little bit messy. Oof, catch. I'm a kitty cat. Oh my gosh, she's stuck. The last little bit of blushing on the facey facey. Zoom, zoom. Oh, the wrong zoom. Zoom. Oh, look at you. A little baby kitty cat. Oh, there's a tiny foot. There is a tiny foot. Pink feetsies, of course. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there. Cats have four toes, right? They have five toes. Oh, that's a beautiful picture of a kitty cat. I just want to make this. Timmy! Timmy, stop! Stop knitting! Okay, let's go. I have acquired my own pets. These ones are actually felted and the kitty cat was sculpted and I so the story behind the other one was so the story behind these guys oh I think I have my face swap on <laughs> the story behind these guys is that these two are actually based on I gotta turn that off hold on I have pets of my own now. So the story behind these guys, well this one is just a little dog, dog, it's a cat. It's a cat for my doll. Namely this one or his YoSD version. There's a kitty cat. Yeah, he's kind of heavy. <laughs> Sorry for the grip, but yeah. I think he's cute. I have fuzz up my nose from her. Her name's Holly. She's just a little, I think she's a orange British short hair. He looks very uncomfortable, so very sorry for holding you like that, honey. But these little boys right here mean more than the world to me. I had two little doggies when I was younger, and just recently they passed away, and I've been absolutely heartbroken. Uh, this is Micah, and this is Timmy, and they are my, my world, honestly, right now. Uh, just like the person whose kitty cat I painted, uh, I was so heartbroken and I wanted to have like a little way to memorialize them, but I chose to do it in soft, fluffy, felted animal form. And I just, they're so cute. They, bang, 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 are actually a perfect skill for this guy. And they actually have the same kind of, well, Tay has the same kind of color. You can't really tell with the dogs, but they're actually, their true fur color was very similar to his wig. I don't know why I'm being held, why they are being held that way. Sorry about that. But yeah, they fit so well. They're actually pretty to scale to when they were with me, but now they're with him forever. And they're with me forever as well, because this boy ain't going nowhere. Someone's coming. Or not. All right. Just wanted to share my lovely dogs too. Gators in commissions. H M U anywhere. Messages are taken. Uh, I don't know. I never say subscribe or like. So do it or don't. Or leave a comment. I suck at answering, but I do love it. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>